Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer and thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Real quick announcement here. If you are not using your supported creator option in your Fortnite account, please consider using Tabor Time. This has nothing to do with me. This is not nothing he's asked anybody to do. This is something I want to do. All the money he collects by somebody using his code goes to help his daughter. He's trying to get his daughter back to Walt Disney World. She was given a Make-A-Wish years ago, but she was so small she wasn't able to take part in hardly anything there. She has a medical condition, and if you go to the video in the description down below, you'll see Tabor Time's name, you'll see the link to his channel, and you'll see the link to a video he put up not too long ago that says, My daughter's having another surgery. You'll find all the information you'll need to know. Again, consider using Tabor Time as your supported creator, and he'll be really thankful. And if you're not using it, why not if you're purchasing stuff in the store, because it doesn't cost you anything. Okay, folks, here we go. We got two challenges we're going to cover in this video. The first one's going to be your third and final free challenge, and that is to get three eliminations in either Junk Junction or Retail Row. And the other one is going to be a Battle Pass challenge, which means you have to have the Battle Pass unlocked. And that is to get three Shotgun Eliminations, which actually will be um, finishing off a third challenge. And that's going to be the stage challenge, the third stage of dancing on top of the Metal Dog. So if you watch the video all the way through, you will find out where the Metal Dog is. And if you need help with that challenge, that video is also on the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. See right here, I'm right in the middle of the map. I'm real close to Dusty Divot. And I decided to put both of these challenges together because they're both elimination challenges. They really don't need their own video. Um, but the one thing is, while we're waiting for me to get this kill right here, which is coming up real soon, I'm glad that they broke it up to where you have to get the three kills in two different locations. You're not isolated to one location. They break it up to kind of spread the map out. And there, there is the first kill with the shotgun. And we'll be covering the, the three shotgun uh, kills first, which is the Battle Pass Challenge. And then we'll be doing the three kills, which actually I do all three of those kills in Junk Junction. I think I, I said that at the beginning of this video too. But I like how they give you two different locations instead of you have to get three kills. And there is the second shotgun challenge. Here, actually, I get a couple shotgun kills here. But I like how they give you two different locations. Just uh, everybody have to go to one lo to one location. Also, as you can tell by the game mode, I do a lot of these in LTM. I do almost every one of my challenges in LTM. It just makes it a lot easier. You know, you start off the map half and half. If you notice right here, you're going to see me dance. This is stage three of the uh, dance on a... Uh, challenge dance on a sundial dance on a coffee cup and dance on a metal dog now while I'm up here I'm going to get my three kills in junk junction and it really boggled my mind how I mean I know I'm gonna be using the silence AR but nobody fires a shot at me um, I think the first guy I kill that actually runs underneath me I think when he's coming back in uh, I kill him for a second time because he tries to, you know, land on the crane and kill me, and I pop him a second time. I didn't check the name on the, the screen or anything to see if it was him, but that's that's the kill right there. There's my first kill in Junk Junction, and I'm going to pop a guy again just over this building here in a second. I, that's, that's him right there. I'm going to pop him. That's my second kill. And now you're going to see here in a minute that this person's going to be coming back in on the glider. And he's going to come right over my head. Right here he is. And he's going to land right next to me. He tries to shoot me and I, and I pop him and take him out. And so that finishes that challenge. So actually I, I finished three challenges in this one video. Which was pretty nice. But if you wanted to see all three stages of the dance on uh, Sundial Coffee Cup and the Metal Dog. That video is on the channel also. 
Well, here was the status at this point when I did this challenge, finished these two off. I had three done. And the next um, set of challenges I did was the Sneaky Snowman and the Land Challenge. When I finished those off, it unlocked the Prisoner um, outfit for me, which was really cool. And that video is also on the channel already. It, um, it has the key location in it for Stage 2. And somebody had made a comment on the video that uh, they watched the whole video for the um, the key location. Well, the video states that it's it's stage one and stage two. It wasn't just a stage two key unlock. So, but I time stamped the uh, the video. So, if you need to know the key location, the exact key location for only stage two, it's seven minutes into that video. Which again. I timestamped that video. It's in the description to, to help you out. I think I'll start doing that in the future. Um, again, uh, this person said he watched the watched the the whole video. I don't think they did, because if why would you watch a 14 minute video if you found the key location seven minutes into the video? So it is what it is. But anyway, if like I said. This was one of those videos where well, you really didn't need to put up, but I like to put up all the weekly challenges. Now I got these up, I want to go ahead and start working on the airplane um, because that is a little tricky. Um, you got to go up in the air and then twist around. I've only tried to do them a couple times. I wanted to get these here up. Then I've been dealing with things here at the house too. I'm still trying to get a little better. If you've seen any of my um, Ice Storm challenge videos, you listen to the way I was talking then, listen to the way I'm talking now, you can tell I'm not fully recovered yet, but I'm definitely on that road because at one point, I mean, if I, if, even if I drank a glass of orange juice, my throat literally burned because I was coughing so much and everything else. I really thought that I was going to come down with another case of pneumonia, and I was definitely headed on that road. So there you go, folks. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. If you would, smash the like button on this video. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos. If you made it this far, leave a comment in the video. Let me know if you're interested in me doing a V-Buck giveaway. Because I tried to do one once before and nobody got in. I have absolutely no clue why they didn't get, get in. I was going to basically give away a battle pass for Season 7. And nobody got in. So, Oh well. Um, I'm assuming you guys will let me know when you want free V-Bucks. It's up to you. It's not a joke. I've got a playlist on my channel showing my past giveaways. I record all my giveaways and I upload the video. In fact, one of my subscribers, he's a YouTuber, a streamer, streams almost on a daily basis. And I actually surprised him live during his stream that he won and I surprised him before I uploaded the um, announcement video because I wanted to surprise him live didn't want him to find out and thought that was kind of cool thank you for watching thank you for giving me your time this is the bulldozer get your killing on and I'm out of here